What do we have here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you were on Facebook, you maybe saw a little post about, uh, well, yeah, I saw a Kubota this and a Kubota that, and I saw a Kubota this. Oh, you guys don't know about this Kubota. Here it is. Here it is. Let's just do it. Oh, let's look at this quick. 53% off, 36,000. This is the bigger one. I looked at it. There's two sizes. This is the bigger one. And this is my decision. Uh, we're doing it because... Oh, we can't look at it from this screen. Oh, that's just silly. That's just silly. Let's go into this screen here. Let's get steer loaders. There. This one is the one we're getting for more than half off. Combos. I like this. I like high dump buckets. I like pallet forks. And this is the clincher here. Stump grinder. For 2,500, we can sell our stump grinder for more than that. Look at that. 5,000. That's the decision maker right there. So here we are, here we are, selling the Kubota, or buying the Kubota, oh yes. Here we go, right off the top again, buying more gear. This would have been awesome instead of the Massey Ferguson, but I'm not gonna talk about that. We've got so much, oh, 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 oh yes. I'm not gonna buy any of the accessories right now. We'll do that at some point. We got so, oh, listen to that. Oh, oh, oh yes, all right. We got, this is not going to be quick. I'm just going to drive this over just so we can drive it. We just bought it. I want to drive it. I want to drive it, all right? Let's go. Uh, no, we're not going to. We're going to drive it to our field. This is so slow. Boy, we need a semi-truck with a low loader in order to move this thing around, don't we? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, yes, we do. That's okay. That's okay. This is too slow. Let's, let's drop this. <laughs> what a great noise. What a great noise that is. Let's grab this one. I got something to show you. Uh, while we're on our way over to show you something, we can just drive straight across this field here. Uh, you can see the upper right. I, yeah, another mod. It says no mods in the title. I think I'm still okay. Because this is one that's just information. It doesn't really do anything. The only reason I got this mod to give us more information because I love that underneath August 2nd, it says year eight. I love that so much. I love that so much. Now we know what year we're in at all times. We're in year eight. Are we doing good? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what are we doing here? Oilseed radish? Wait a second. Um, how's your oilseed radish in here? The computer doesn't put oilseed radish in. Well, that's because we bought it. <laughs> we bought it. Um, let's roll the footage first, and then I'll talk about it. How about that? Here's the footage from buying it, and then what I did with it afterwards. I don't like to do stuff without you. But, but I had to, it was there, I was out of town, I couldn't record, I just did it. So here's the footage. So there you go. I, I had to do it. I had to do it. There was as much like that barley field over there. There was weed over here, ready to harvest. I had to do it. Double fertilized. Oh, double fertilized goodness. And I, like I said, we, I wanted to, I wanted to get a field over here anyways. So it just made sense. It just made sense. All of it went into the levigator over there. What else are we talking about? Upper right, 144,000. Well, now after we bought the skid steer, it was 180-ish thousand. Uh, lots of contracts. Got two of the bailing contracts done. Let's check the contract screen right now. Just so you're updated. Oh, this one just came in. Okay, potatoes, field 34 to the supermarket. Uh, yeah, let's just, okay, sure. Uh, we got a bailing contract left. So this is the third and final bailing contract. I'm not gonna do that right now. We want to make sure we get through, get through, uh, we're August 2nd, as we've seen. Uh, what else? Oh, we got, a, I had a $31,000, here's a little screenshot, a $31,000 potato contract. I borrowed the gear for that one. 
because that was just too much. That was going to be way too much to do with Europa. So I did that. I did a bunch of other contracts as well. So we're, we're sitting pretty good money-wise. I wish that a combine would have showed up instead of instead of that skid steer, but that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Okay, one more thing I wanted to update you on as well as I cleaned up that potato chip mess from the end of the last episode. Oh, that was goofy, but check this out. So I wanted to sell in August. Look what happened. Look at this. All right, potato chips down at the bottom right here. Potato chips, 1400 Look at this. August was supposed to be the good month. At one point, right? August. <laughs> so we're just going to have to look at this every month. I don't know. I'm not going to sell them now. It's down here. I want to sell them up here. Uh, clearly, we have uh, we have plenty of storage for this stuff, so I'm just going to hang on to them. We'll figure out a time to sell them. Hello, Windmill. Oh, along with the big potato contract. Let's see. Let's update you on this. Oh, my gosh. So much. So much. We got potatoes. Look at all these potatoes from contracts. And canola from contracts. And so we made canola oil. Look at all this. I'm s Oh, we got to... In fact, there we go. We got to deactivate that. All right. So we're full. Canola, that's done. Um, yeah. So a lot happened. Oh, my harvester was over there from another contract. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Um, so much happened between episodes. I do want to apologize that I had to do so much without you, but it's just that's the way it went with my schedule in June here. All right. We've got... I put the new tracks on this uh, this year John Deere. So we got the thinner tracks, and I'm hoping that it doesn't, it doesn't uh, trample here. I don't think it will. Did I try it yet? I don't know. All right. Let's unfold the Ropa and get started here. Here we go. Lower it. Turn it on. Perfect. And we're finally going to get into our own potato field. Oh, no! Oh, boy. We're in serious trouble now. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I thought these thinner ones would not trample. They do. Now what? Now what? All right. Oh. Who decided this tractor was a good idea? That's what I want to know. All right, let's get rid of it. Oh, that's not cool. Let's let's get the Massey Ferguson and see what we can do with that, I guess. Am I silly in thinking that those thinner tracks would... Oh, that they would not trample? Am I silly? To... No, I don't want engine set up. I want the wheel set up. Wheel weight's wide. We need narrows. Thousand bucks. I don't know. I hope this pulls that ropa. I don't. I don't have faith. I don't have faith. We'll find out. Well, here we go. This looks silly, if you ask me. <laughs> this is silly. Oh my gosh. All right, it's working. It. This is silly. Well, I mean, that's what we got to do now. I guess that's just the way it goes. If we ever have to do a hill. <laughs> with this thing, we're going to be in trouble. We're just going to have to do Potato Chip Alley here on the flat ground. It's working. Right on, Massey. Right on. All right. So just so you know, I wanted to say that you may be able to tell. Maybe not. I hooked up my new microphone. What do you think? What do you think? How's it sound? Might take a few episodes to tweak some stuff in. I do some equalizing in the software for editing and things like that. I tried a little bit. Tried editing and stuff like that with the settings I got now. I think it's good, but it might be tweaked here and there. I just wanted to let you know what's going on with the microphone. Ooh, and also, this is my first video I've recorded. I mean, other than the cinematic trailer breakdown. Since Farming Simulator 25 got announced, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're going to work this. Oh, my gosh. Massey slowing down. Oh, I'm so upset by this. I'm so upset by this. What are we going to do about this? Oh, this makes me sad. It's getting weighed down by all those potatoes. When it gets weighed down, the Massey just can't keep up. This makes me sad. Anyways, uh, Farming Simulator 25 does not make me sad. That makes me happy. We're going to keep going on this series, of course. And we'll see how far we can get. 
I don't know that we'll be able to get the whole map bought up and farmed like I wanted to, but we are going to, we're going to still keep trying. We're going to keep trying. We'll see how it goes. Well, here we go with our really expensive trailer puller. <laughs> oh, man. Look at, I've got the narrows on there. Look at, it's way narrower than, than the other ones. I'm going to investigate. I'm going to look this up. I'm going to see if those are meant to be... Oh, is this going to fit under the basket now, too? It does. Good. Was this meant to be like narrow tires and they just didn't code it right? I'm going to look it up just to make sure. Maybe I can go in and change a code if I need to, if that was the intention of these tracks. All right. So I looked it up. 3M, it, 3M is a is more of a standard wheelbase for tractors, I guess. So... That's the option, and really doesn't make a difference in this game. From what I read, from what I read, so let's... Uh, how much can we sell this for? The Massey, just curious. 20000 And I'm thinking about just doing this. The Ropa is, uh, says it requires 200 horsepower. So if we bring the Massey up to 20, 200 horsepower, 25000 just to do that. Uh, let's look at, this might be a very good time for this. Let's go here. <laughs> this, oh, 25,000. So 20, 65,000. No, the robo, the ro robo six. Uh, well, how much to get to 200 horsepower? 10,000. Oh, should we do it? <laughs> oh, but the thing is, if I get this one, I want to do this paint job. Another $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> How high does it go? 10, uh, 225 horsepower. This is 190. Mm, we might get away with this. We might get away with this. Do we want to do that? Hmm. Rim color. Ooh. <laughs> well, I'm just getting crazy now. I don't know if it's the FS25 in my brain. I don't know if it's the FS25. We don't need the front loader attacher anymore. So that's good. Oh, we need narrow tires for another thousand. Hmm. Let's just do it. Why don't we? Should we just do it? The Massey is 150 horsepower. Hmm. Oh, look at those tires. Oh, look at that. That's standard, though. We can't do standard. All right. Um. I think we're gonna do it. Just give me a second. I need to. I need to just calm down. I think we're gonna do it, though. All right, here we are, willy nilly, just spending money like no man, like it means nothing. We're just gonna keep spending money. Is that what we're doing now? We're going complete opposite. Why not? I did get the quickie, by the way, because that skid steer is great, but it's well, we don't have a way to move it around the map, so we need. Oops, we need to do this now. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh what am I doing here? Oh, don't get in that yet. All right, back over here. Oh, this is just ridiculous. All right, repair, yes. Repaint, yes. And I can't believe we're doing this. It's only 33000 Oh, but it would have cost more to get the... All right, so we're spending $40,000, basically. Sure. We've had the mask long enough. All right. We're willy-nilly now is all we're doing. Willy-nilly. We got to pay to get our front-end loader. Oh, my gosh. Get our front-end loader re... Repainted too. We can't have the red front and loader now, can we? Let's see how this runs. Let's see how this runs the ropa. And we are off. <laughs> off again. All right. Seems to be running it well. I'm sure it'll be fine with this one. Massey Ferguson. I also could have upgraded the engine on that. It would have been 20,000. I don't know if I showed you that. 20,000 to upgrade the engine on that. That's why I'm like, well, 20,000 plus another 22,000. I don't know. Why not? Down to 84,000 again. Here we go. Back down. And now here comes the combine and the in the used gear sale. I think it's worth it. And I wanted this paint job. I spent a little extra on the tires and on, on the paint job. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Oh, this is slow because I'm turning kind of sharp there, I think. Let's see what let's see how she does fully loaded here. Hopefully, a little bit better than that Massey did. All right, she's getting weighed down. 
and we're coming up on the same spot we were on with the Massey Ferguson. And she's slowing down. She's slowing down! Oh boy. Oh boy, we wasted some cash there. We have wasted some cash. That's all right. She sure is pretty, isn't she? Look at that. Oh, yes. She's pretty. That's a good looking tractor. How about that? That's what we're doing. We're just getting good looking tractors now. We don't care about how well they work, whether they meet the specs or not. No, 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 no. We care about how good they look. And this one looks amazing. All right, let's offload these potatoes here. It's gonna be almost 100%, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get out of the tractor here. Let's, oh, geez. Once this is done unloading, let's turn this one off. And we're gonna go put some in with the pigs and dump some off at the, at the, what, what am I calling that? The, the potato pantry, that's what I'm calling it. There we go, that's off. Let's take our really expensive trailer puller. <laughs> oh, man. Really expensive trailer puller, so sad. Ah, we'll take it over and feed up some pigs, let's go. All right, how much should we put in here? Let's take a look right here. And here's the value, by the way, of our pigs right now. Nothing even really getting close. 970, those are the original 13 babies we bought. But once we once these start going, then we're gonna be getting a lot of, uh, a lot of cash out of these out of these pigs, which is gonna be great. All right, so we don't wanna do too much. Total effectiveness is 5%. Really, only a couple thousand uh, liters of of this, so we want to go down to eighteen thousand. Boom, that's enough. Let's take a look. Let's take a look there. Yeah, we don't want to go too high. We're gonna have some in standby over in the potato pantry. Let's go drop these off right now. Oh boy, here we go. All right, let's go into here. Let's disconnect. There we go. Let's get this one out of the way. I feel like we should be able to dump right on the end of this. Is that is that a true statement or do I have to do both? Do I have to do both to in order to, to get this thing, get the potatoes in the pantry? Let's find out. Let's try to do it without this and see if we can't dump the trailer right onto that conveyor belt right there. So what are the chances something's gonna go right today? What are the chances? Let's do tip side. Let's go grain door on this one. Here we go. What are the chances something's gonna go right here? Let's find out, let's find out. Here we go, let's just back it right onto there. I, this might work, this might work. Come on now, it might work. I gotta turn the conveyor on too. Let's go turn that on. Maybe, maybe we don't. Let's just see here. Yes, yes, let's see. Yes. Not dropping them on the ground though. Not dropping them on the ground. How do I get it to drop it on the ground? Things just aren't going well today, are they? They're just not going well. I mean, I want to unload here, but I don't want to like, I don't want to load, load it and then unload it like this, right? Okay, stop unloading. Okay, so maybe I can just do this. Let's find out. There we go, drop for me. Nope. All right. Do I just have to keep hitting I here? Maybe I do. Yep. Okay. If I keep hitting I, it's working. Ah, no spare capacity for potatoes. Let's see if we do this, if we raise it up a little bit. Can I dump more on top? Let's find out. All right. I think that's the tallest pile we can make. So let's move this forward just a little. Let's move the whole deal forward a little bit. Right like that, can control I. Okay, it's allowing me to put more potatoes down. That's a good start. Let's get the trailer back into position. Okay, this is not as working as well as I was hoping. Okay, there we go, we got I. Is this just gonna work? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> oh, they are dumping off though. All right, I'll just keep unloading, keep hitting I. Let's do this for fun. I want to, we got what, 5,000 liters left? Let's bring up the other one and see if we can't, see if we can't get this to work just with hitting I once and then it would just unload it all right there. Let's find out. Okay, with this setup, I can just take control I and have it just dump it right on the ground here, right? So let's just do that. That's just gonna dump them all right there on the ground. 
And then this one we will unload here with that. We gotta get into this one maybe. All right, let's try turning on conveyor belt. There we go. Turn on conveyor belt. There we go. It's doing something. It's doing something. This is working. Okay, so this is the way to do it. Just dump them on the ground and then have that one pick it up. It is still making a pretty good pile in there, and I think we might just go with this many potatoes in there for now. For this year. Oh, it didn't like something. Didn't like something. Let's do this. There we go. Get them all in there. I think this is probably more than what we had last year in here, isn't it? This is like, but it's really piled in here nice. That's exactly the way I want it to look. And I think this is it. I think we're good. We're gonna have to figure out that process every year. There's no way I'm remembering that next year. <laughs> How I did that. That's fine, so that'd be good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on from potatoes. I'm gonna just up and down the field and the rest are going into the potato refinery is where the rest go in. So I'll meet you at the end of these fields getting completely harvested. Holy cow. Ah, it might be a while. Today's episode of Farming Simulator 22 from Zealonka is brought to you by Compounding Failure. If you would like to learn about how you can add failure upon failure, please watch this episode. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this Landini. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Not something that we needed to buy. Definitely not. I should have just <laughs> upgraded the Massey Ferguson. I'd say the size of this tractor does look a little bit better than the Massey, though, doesn't it? It makes it looks more like it should be pulling this whole ropa. So that's fine. I started editing the beginning of this episode just to make sure the audio was quasi acceptable, and I'm tweaking some stuff. But, um, yeah, you could hear my disappointment. Holy smokes! <laughs> the whole episode just took a downturn to like, ugh, after after I trampled those crops crops with the other tractor. Kind of funny, actually. I'm like, how do I edit this to make it sound like it's not so bad? But, man, you can hear it in my voice. This is the next day, by the way, so I'm feeling a little bit better. And we're just going to go with these two tractors. I know I could probably smooth talk my way into returning something and this and that. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. What are we going to do? Let's see. I, so I got this much done, obviously. Let's, I mean, look how much we have left. Lots of field left over there. I did want to make sure that we got the canola in because this we can still harvest into next month without it withering from what I know. The way this episode's going, maybe I don't know enough, though. Who knows? There we go. Who knows? I, I don't know. I looked it up quick. Couldn't find much. My Googling skills must not be good. But here, potatoes go into September. So our potato crops should be good, and I can do them into September. Hopefully. Hopefully that's the case. One thing we do need to get in, though is the canola this has to be done by the end of august so i'm hed hedging my bets a little bit here uh we need to get the canola in here and i think this is going to be the plan for the for what's going on i think what i want to do oh, let's look at this first so you can see where i'm at we've got half the potato field in and this is how many potatoes we have so we're sitting pretty good canola oil we're okay we still have the sunflower oil to go so we can we're still going to add more oils into the into the potato refinery. But here here's where we're at. I want to make sure that we have enough canola going forward for all the potatoes we have. I don't I mean here's the ratio. And the math is let's do the math. All right, so this is how the math shapes out. We've got we're going to have about 200,000 potatoes in the refinery divided by 100 equals we're going to have about 2,000 cycles times 5 is 10,000 oil we need for getting all the potatoes into chips this year. So we're close. We're close. Plus, we got the sunflower coming in. So the ratio is actually pretty good. Maybe I will just do – I was thinking about taking this field and making it canola or something. I do want to do a grain in this one again. Uh, we'll probably do wheat again is what I want to do up there. Just because we don't have enough to keep the keep the bakery going full 
even the one bakery, we don't have enough to keep it going full. <sighs> so I think that's the plan. I think actually we're going to then do potato, potato again. We'll go one more year and see how it works out. Canola here, sunflowers here, and then we'll do wheat up here. But I want to get this canola in to make sure I have enough time in the day. So I need to work. I need to work. Uh, make sure I have enough time in the day to get everything planted the way we need to get it planted. Here we go. In goes the canola. Ah, getting these feel. This feel. Oh, look how quickly this works. Did the JCB pull this as quick? Is this how fast it was? The JCB. All right, all right. I'm I'm pleased that this is going so quick. Maybe it is. I'm just so used to going so slow with the ropa. The ropa. Maybe that's maybe that's the problem. Ah, who knows? While we're putting the canola in, we're still talking about potato chips. I did want to bring this up. I wanted you to notice this. I was kind of going crazy about potato chips and when to sell them and blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Let's go down here. Potato chips right there. All right. So we're at $14.90 at the farmer's market. Show price fluctuations. So look at so up and down, up and down, up and down all over the place. Right? I was like, oh man, you can sell it every other month. What's going on? But look at, if you look at this here, the high price, the, this looks like it's a big drop in, in everything, but this goes from 1589 to 1548. <laughs> it's only $40 difference between the ups and the downs. So really what that graph is telling us is that we can kind of just sell it anytime we want to, really. We should be looking at it monthly and just seeing if if we're up in the up in the range at all. Like right now, we're not in the range. We're at let's get this started here. If we are up in this range at all, fifty, you know, in fifteen fifty to wherever, then we're good. We should just sell. There's no reason to get crazy about this. Uh, but right now, we're not. <laughs> we're only at fourteen ninety. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get to September. It'll be next episode, and we are going to get some potato chips sold. And I that is my saving grace. I feel like we're gonna be making a lot of cash off of this. Again, I haven't done the math. Could I do the math? Yes, it'd be really easy. We should make a ton of cash off of that. I am I'm pretty excited to get some potato chips sold. We got some that are gonna be piling up over at the potato refinery. <sighs> so that's kind of the saving grace for this episode is that we are gonna get potato chips started and they are going to be lots and lots of money and i think we are good with the ratios here with the both those fields there and then the canola we're gonna do it for one more year and if this works out this year using just these two fields and then the sunflower field over by dry creek manor we'll just plow in that road and just make that the potato field oh plus don't forget we're gonna put the beehives in as well so that'll up the the yield for both these fields Things are going to be looking good. Things are going to be looking really good around here. Also, one more thing to mention about my tone earlier. <laughs> I made a joke about whose idea it was to get this tractor here. Uh, clearly, it was all mine. I, <laughs> I was editing it. I'm like, wow, the tone in that did not sound as sarcastic as I was hoping. <laughs> uh, so I'll say it again. Whose idea was it to get this tractor? Oh, my gosh. There we go. Is that more sarcastic? I because I actually did get a comment because the video just released that at the end of the end of the episode, this came, this tractor came into the used gear and somebody said, I think you should get it. So I better make sure uh, somebody didn't take that too personal. Uh, no, it's 100% my decision to get this tractor. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's a good looking tractor. I enjoy it. I'm going to put the wider tracks on again. These don't do anything. They just look kind of... They, they kind of look neat, but they kind of look goofy at the same time. So when I get some time, I'm going to put the wider tracks back on this thing. Last of the canola is going in the ground. I think this will be a good ratio again next year. Let's just live with what we got here with canola and the sunflowers over there. We'll put sunflowers in over there, uh, uh, over in the Dry Creek Manor field again. I think this is going to be a good ratio for Potato Chip Alley. We'll get the bees, in, bees nests in pretty quick here. One on uh, each half of this, so one right there and one right behind us for that field back there. I think life is going to be good with for Potato Chip Alley. What I want to do after I finish this little short section up here, let's go grab them. There's quite a bit of manure over there, and we got 40,000 liters of slurry already. I think I want to skip the slurry just for this field. I don't want... Things have been going sideways enough with this episode. I don't need to 
be getting stones coming up in this field again. <laughs> I don't need that. So we're, I'm going to, let's see if we can't do this whole field with just the manure. I, I think we might be able to. Let's go grab it. Huh? Look at all that in there. Yes. It's looking good. I think we, we might have enough for this whole field. If we don't, I'll finish it off with just the fertilizer. Let's hit R here. There we go. Oh, yes. Ooh, is it, are we going to get it all? Nope, not quite. Not quite. All right, let's get over to the canola field. And we're going to get this started. I'll probably finish it up off screen between episodes. There it is. Spread the manure. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Am I getting the edges? I don't know if I'm getting the edges. That's all right. That's all right. Here we go. Right there is the perfect spot. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to leave you here. What is going to happen next episode is a lot. <laughs> a lot next episode. We are going to be harvesting sorghum. The wheat in our new field is going to be going in next episode as well. So I'm excited about that. We are going to sell potato chips. Our first round of potato chip selling should happen. We'll look at the price. As long as it's above 1550, I'm okay just selling it off. And we should have more, even more. I'll probably get them loaded up between episodes, but we should have more over at the potato refinery as well. And you know what? I'm not going to load it up myself because we're going to use the new skid steer. And we can't, I can't do that by myself. Can't do it. So we're going to load those up using the new skid steer over at the potato refinery. So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you were okay with my sadness and disappointment. So sad about this tractor trampling potatoes. Ah, that's the way it goes sometimes, though. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. And we'll see you in the next episode.